Oh, I'm Dave Deedy, plant supervisor for Hallman Lindsay um, in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. In manufacturing, there's many steps to process a batch of paint. The first process is receiving all the raw materials. The next step in the process is to print a formula, which is like a recipe. If it's water-based, add, usually adding water first, and then additives. We're grinding in materials that have come in, pigments, pigment solids, letting those dwell or grind for a certain period of time, and then letting the batch down, which means adding latex, additives, defoamer, rheology modifiers. And once the process is complete, then the batch is sampled into the quality control lab to get make sure that it is on spec for viscosity, weight, color or tint strength, um, and sometimes gloss. We make various sizes of batches, anywhere between a 100 gallon minimal size batch all the way up to 2,700 gallons in one batch. Once the batch is passed through quality control, then it goes out to the filling department and has been assigned containers to be filled in, which may be quarts, gallons, five gallon pails, or 55 gallon drums. And on occasion, we will fill 250 gallon totes. Each batch, depending on what product it is, has a, has a certain method for straining to ensure that the product is clean and grit free. One example of straining would be through cloth bag filtering system. The five gallon pails are pre-labeled. The gallons are filled and then goes to the end of the filling table for a handle and to be boxed. Once the boxes are filled, we stack them on pallets, and then the pallets are put away in the stock room. The stores will order their weekly store orders of stock. Once we have the orders complete, then we have trucks that we deliver our own products with, and we also subcontract out for, for store deliveries. The one thing we pride ourselves in is all of the cleanup and wash water that we create, 95% um, or so is recycled back into our own products. So there's very little waste and the water that isn't able to be reused then is processed through a machine to separate the solids and let the clear liquid water go down to the sewer.